you're going to be spending some time in an RV, but you don't want to give up your sewing and quilting. So what do you do? Take it with you, silly. Today's RVs are packed with storage. There's storage everywhere. There's storage under this seat that I'm sitting on. There's storage uh, in the kitchen, above the cabinets, below the countertops, above the sofas, above the bed, everywhere. So if you've got the room, take as much as you want of your sewing and quilting. I'm going to show you today what I've brought on this trip. We are away from home approximately five weeks and I have some ongoing projects that I don't want to stop working on and who knows I might pick up a few new ones on the way. So let me get the camera and I will show you exactly what I brought. On this trip I'm using my dinette as my sewing station. I have a bench seat with storage, I have another chair with an extra pillow for height, and a nice uh, um, pretty big table actually. And I just want to kind of show you how I set things up and also what I brought. First and most important is down here. Bring a power strip and make sure it has enough uh, spots in it to plug in everything you need. It's probably advisable not to bring your best sewing machine. This is a nice sewing machine that I bought many years ago. Still works fine. It's a Janome 6260 QC. And um, it's nice and small and compact. And then I also have this uh, extension table that came with it. And uh, once you take the storage compartment off of here, then this just slides up to it. And I did bring that part in case I don't want to use this extension table, but so far I've been using it. So let's take a look at what I brought. I didn't want to bring everything. I just didn't want to take the risk of losing something or maybe not having room to store it properly. So as far as scissors go, I brought my snips and they usually sit right here. I brought some good fabric scissors, but not my best ones. These are titanium coated. I don't know what brand they are, but I got them at Joann's. They're not cheap. They're not expensive. They're just something middle of the road and they are good fabric cutters. So I have those under here usually. And then I have these ones, these, um, oh, they have a name, something Buckley. You, you guys know what they are. But uh, these are good middle of the road scissors to use for clipping and snipping. Uh, not for threads necessarily, but just for uh, trimming on fabric. So I have those. And then I have my rotary cutter here. This is just the one I've been currently using. It is a Fiskars. I have several, but this is the one I've been using recently. And I just grabbed that one to bring with me. I brought this uh, foldable Ofa mat. And it is, let me turn it around here so you can see which one this is. Folding mat. And it is 12 by 17. So it folds up nicely. And I can put that also under here if I want to. Or I can store it away somewhere else when I'm not using it. So there's that. And then rulers. I brought my 24 inch ruler, Omni Grid ruler that has the little stops on it here that keeps it from sliding. I did not bring my big handle with me. I just felt like that was just going to be not that necessary, but I think it is necessary to bring a ruler this big because if you are cutting um, half the width of fabric, you're going to need one that wide. Otherwise, you have to fold your fabric up smaller to cut it. 
And then I brought another Omni Grid ruler that is a four by eight for smaller cuts. And then I also brought my Clearly Perfect trimmer, the half inch one, the one that has the half inch um, denominations on it. I don't know how you say that. It's broken on each corner, but it still works. I have a new one at my house waiting for me. And then some of the smaller things that I brought was some a magnetic pen holder. Magnetic, why? Because if pens go flying, or tend to want to go flying, they are, they're less likely to on this. And I usually keep this right here. And then I have another bag of goodies here that I want to show you. Hold on just a second. Let me get this open for you. Okay, I'm just going to show you what's in here. So everything that I felt like I could possibly need fits in this little uh, 4x6 zipper pouch that came with my wool mat. So here's what I thought I needed. A pencil, a mechanical pencil, and erasable pencil. One of the cheapo um, seam rippers from my collection. I did not bring my hand turned wooden uh, set that I got at Paducah. I didn't want to take the chance of losing that or something happening to it. So I brought just a cheapo. I have a turner. I don't know why I brought that. I just felt like I should. <laughs> and then I also brought some extra blades for the rotary cutter. And I brought a few of these for holding things together. And then I brought a, my seam tape, which I did put a new piece of seam tape on this before I left. But I'm so dependent on that now, I didn't want to not have it for some reason if this got messed up. So I went ahead and brought my roll. So all of that fits in there. And then here, I brought my small mini pure steam iron and with the little heat resistant mat and then this is a I believe it is a 12 by 18 wool mat and I tend to not use steam on this um, I was doing some sewing uh, a couple days ago and I needed some steam and this little dude just didn't want to give me the steam I needed. Sometimes it would, sometimes it wouldn't. So I went and bought some of this from the grocery store. Niagara Premium Smooth Finish. I don't like to get this mat wet so I've been very careful about that because it will turn it colors, cause it to smell bad. Your wool mat is really for dry ironing. And then I also brought with me the extra parts to this machine. I uh, have the walking foot, uh, some other feet in here in case I need them, needles, um, screwdriver, there's even another seam ripper in there, I didn't see that. Um, darning foot, zipper foot, whatever I might need for it fits right in there. And most of these things that you see, except for this long ruler and this wool mat, will fit in one of my project boxes. So I brought one of my project boxes for my fabric. And as I was saying, all of these little doodads will fit in here as well. So this is kind of nice to have so that I can keep my fabric in order and clean and uh, dust free and it's worked out well. Now I do have a hard cover for my sewing machine as well and I was able to stow that away in a cabinet and it just kind of fits over the top of this and you carry it with that. So there we have it. So if you're doing any um, hand sewing, we'll talk about that next. 
So a little bit about hand sewing. If you have some hand sewing projects going on, like I have my hexes that I'm joining together by hand, you're going to want to have a whole nother supply of hand sewing items with you. Uh, if you're like me and you can't see close up, you might want to make sure you have a, a pair or two of cheaters around. You want to have your small scissors with you your um, thread and thread conditioner and extra needles and a I've been using these little so tight magnets to do this with so depending on what your hand sewing project is there might be some other tools that you're going to want to uh, throw in there but the good thing about hand sewing is you don't need a whole lot of room for it so I was able to uh, fold this up into a nice uh, tidy area in a tote bag and with all my extra hexes that I need to sew on and all of these items uh, separately from my other sewing things. So it was easy to, to manage that and I can pull that tote bag out anytime I feel the urge to sew. So that is what I would suggest that you bring. One thing I did forget, I did forget one thing. And I feel pretty good about that because uh, there's so many things that we sew with. And um, I forgot to bring thread, regular white thread. I meant to go back and grab a spool before I left and I wasn't able to remember to do that and I ran out of the thread that was already in the machine so I did have to go out and find thread but luckily in in this area where I am right now uh, there are fabric stores so I was able to pick up my favorite thread and have that on hand for the rest of the trip so I hope this helps you in thinking about sewing in an RV or on a vacation uh, what you should bring, what you can get by with, and how to set it up so as not to take up a lot of extra room and be able to, to travel with your favorite hobby. So, hope this helps, and we'll see you on the next video. Bye.